everyone welcome to my youtube channel and this is a part two of your crochet mandala flower i hope you like my first part of this video and because of the so much time taking i am making this in two different parts so we have did the four rounds in our first part now i am starting the round number five so we need to make our take our new color make a knot insert your hook in and then we are going to join to your chain four space insert your hook in and then do a slip stitch oops it's just stuck stuck ah okay now we are going to chain one to pick up a stitch now we are going to do a four five uh, double crochets into the chain four space so we are going to do a five double crochets into this chain four space so it's one two three four and five after completing the five double crochets, what we're going to do, we are going to do a single crochet into our previous single crochet. So on the top here, you can see there is a little bit, little hole into this section here. Okay, insert your hook in and do a single crochet into that stitch, just like that. Five double crochet into the chain four space. One, two, three four five single crochet in the top of your previous single crochet and again we're going to do five double crochet single crochet five double crochet single crochet so we need to make it all the way around for the total of 16 um, shell stitches okay so I have completed this round as well and at the end of this round after completing your last stitch here is the uh, single crochet we did now we are going to insert our hook into the first uh, chain one we have made we're going to pull it through just like that we're going to chain up one and then we're going to bring your hook from the back as I have told you before I'm gonna bring my hook towards the right side of your single crochet insert your hook in then backward grab the yarn pull through then we're gonna do a single crochet we're gonna chain for this time we're gonna chain up oops five the last round we have the chain um, four. For this one, we're gonna make a chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we are gonna go on to the next one. Insert your hook from the back side here, from the single crochet towards the other side. Grab the yarn, pull it through, make a single crochet and chain five again this is what you need to do all the way around for round one two three four five six seven for round seven we need to do all the way around single crochet on the back of the single crochet and chain five so i have completed this round as well and at the end i have made a chain five and then i am gonna give a slip stitch to the first single crochet we have made chain one pull up a loop and then cut this yarn now it's time to attach the new color to your work because we are going to work the third of this shell round so for that i am using this green color so take your yarn And I'm gonna make a knot as I have t told you before. Okay, insert your hook in 
And now we are going to attach our yarn into the single crochet, any other single crochet, top of your single crochet. Attach your yarn into the single crochet space. Chain one and do the single crochet into the same space. Just like that. Okay. And now we are going to do a six double crochets into this chain five space. One, two, three, four, and five and six okay and then we're gonna do a single crochet to the top of the previous single crochet just like that okay so this is how we're gonna do this round and after this round we are gonna start again the chain section for the um, easy reminder or easy remember what you need to do is you need to remember we have made a chain three space into the popcorn stitch and into the chain three space we have made a four double crochet after that we made a four double cro four chain space but into that we made a five double crochet after that we have made a five chains and into that we have made a six double crochet that means the next row is going to be six chains along with these seven half double crochets in between the uh, single crochet into each of the single crochet okay so we are gonna do as exactly we have did it the round um, what do you call it like round one two three four five six okay so chain um, uh, sorry single crochet into the previous single crochet and six double crochet into the chain space so we need to do all the way around okay so I have completed this round as well now after the end of this round you're gonna have the obviously the 16 petals I'm just just adjusting my camera right now okay so this is how your I uh, mandala flower will looks like and at the end of this round what we need to do is we're gonna give a slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet Sit your hook and grab the yarn pull it through okay chain one and then again bring your hook towards the back to the other side of the single crochet grab the yarn and do single crochet and chain as I have told you we have did five chains now we're gonna do a six chain so one two three four five and six after the sixth chain into the next single crochet from the back insert your hook in towards the next side bring it towards the back and pull it through okay so we need to for this round we need to do a chain six space all the way around just like that this is how it looks like from the back and we're gonna cut these tails later on because I am working over my tail so that I don't need to sew it later on so we need to do it all the way around okay so I have completed this round as well which we need to make a chain six between the and in between we're gonna make the single crochet at the end we're gonna join it with our first single crochet and then we're gonna chain up and fasten up the yarn so for the this part now we're gonna attach our this color you need to make the color of the popcorn stitch and the uh, fifth of this petal section um, shell one the same color or if you wanted to you can use a different color it depends on you so what you need to do we're gonna grab our yarn the purple one I'm gonna make a slip knot sorry okay after making your slip or slip knot insert your hook in okay just like that and now we are gonna start it out with the single crochet 
we have made attach anywhere but on the top of the previous single crochet so insert your hook in oh, oh okay insert your hook in okay grab the yarn from the back pull it through chain one and do single crochet into the same space all right now what we need to do we are going to triple crochet for into this popcorn stitch for that grab the yarn on your hook one two times like that now insert your hook into the this side right side from the behind from the backward bring your hook just like that I have just did a one and two yarn over on the hook I am inserting the hook under this popcorn stitch here and then I am just grabbing my yarn and pull it through give it a little room okay and then I'm gonna bring it through two loops give it a little room yarn over and pull through the two loops and yarn over pull through the last two loops and this is how you're gonna work into it now into the chain six space we are gonna do a seven double crochets so into this space we're gonna do a seven double crochets so it's one two three four five six and seven after completing seven double crochets we're gonna do a single crochet to the previous single crochet just like that okay and again we're gonna do this section here so wrap the yarn twice over the hook just like that and then bring your hook under and over to the other side grab the yarn pull it through and now give it a little room so that it won't be too much like um, stretched like the petal are gonna be so much weaved in if you wanna make it too tight so give it a little room and then pull through two loops again give it a little room pull through two loops and then pull through two loops just like that again chain uh, sorry seven <laughs> double crochets so one two three four five six and seven into the chain six space single crochet in the top of the previous single crochet and then again wrap the yarn twice on the hook insert your hook under the popcorn stitch to the other side bring the yarn give it a little room and then pull through two loops give it a little room pull through two loops and then pull through last two loops okay so this is how you are going to work all the way around to the beginning so after completing the last shell of this round we are going to do a single crochet uh, sorry slip stitch on the top of the previous single cro last single crochet this is a single crochet insert your hook in and bring the yarn out and do a slip stitch okay now for the leaf section we are gonna chain one again insert your hook from the back towards the single crochet we are not gonna cross this one we are gonna go under there is a single crochet hidden on the back so insert your hook just like that bring the yarn do a single crochet chain seven one two three four five six seven 
again into the next side here is your single crochet on the back of this loop so insert your hook from the back of your single crochet then to the other side grab the yarn pull it through and then do a single crochet chain seven one two three four five six seven this is what you need to do all the way around to make a leaf section you need to make a chain seven space okay so we need to do it all the way around so I have completed this chain round and then at the end you need to do a slip stitch on the top of your first single crochet now before starting of this round I am gonna cut all of these tails so you need to just give it a snap and then we are gonna start cutting all the tails so that is why I worked over the tails because at the end we don't need to sew them later because they are like way so many tails here I'm gonna leave the center one because I need to shut the center hole a little bit so for that I'm gonna leave the center tail and this is how your um, mandana flower will, looks like okay so for the last two rounds we are gonna use our green color you can use any color you wanted to for the leaf one insert your hook in and then we are gonna work attach the yarn onto the top of the single crochet so insert your yarn in okay into any of the single crochet grab the yarn pull it through chain one and do a single crochet into the same space just like that now chain two one two single crochet into this chain space chain two single crochet into the previous single crochet chain seven one two three four five six seven into the same space we're gonna make a single crochet this is the center space of your leaf yeah chain two work single crochet into this chain seven space chain two work a single crochet into the previous single crochet on the top of the previous single crochet I am not making like leave in each of this uh, single crochet space because we need to make eight petals of leaves uh, otherwise it's gonna be 16 if you make in each of these so a single crochet into the previous single crochet chain two single crochet into the chain space chain two single crochet into the previous single crochet and chain seven one two three four five six seven single crochet into the same space chain two and single crochet into the chain seven space this is what you need to do all the way around you are going to make a eight of these uh, leaf spaces all the way around okay we're going to make a one single crochet into the center we are going to make a chain seven and then a single crochet into the next one okay so you need to complete this all the way to the beginning we are back to the beginning and at the end we need to make a single crochet into the chain space chain two and we are going to join the work into the first single crochet we have made just like that now chain one single crochet into the same space chain two single crochet into the previous single crochet 
chain two. Now we are going to start making a leaf. For that, we're going to make a eight double crochet through this chain seven space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Chain two for the peacock stitch and do the sing uh, slip stitch on the top of your double crochet last double crochet give a slip stitch on these two loops here and again we're gonna do a remaining eight double crochet so it's one two three four five six seven and eight you're gonna adjust the stitches just like that and there is your leaf is ready okay chain two single crochet to the previous single crochet chain two again single crochet into the previous single crochet chain two and then we are going to do a single crochet into the previous single crochet chain two and again into the center we're going to make a eight double crochet chain two peacock stitch on the top of your last double crochet and again we are going to make chain uh, eight double crochet so this is what we need to do all the way around in each of the uh, single crochet we need to make chain two in between each of this stitch okay so we need to do all the way around and after this round your mandala flower is going to look like that and that's mean you have completed you need to sew the tails later on i hope you like this tutorial kindly subscribe to my channel if you like my videos do share my videos with your friends and family thank you for giving your time to my videos